Hey, what's up, guys? Let me see about another video, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Galaxy A31, the five reasons, the top reasons as to why uh, I would say that you should buy this phone in uh, late 2021, you know. So, this phone has been out for about eight months, and yeah, I thought I could make a video as to why you should buy it eight months later after it's released. Okay, so guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, and if you end up liking what you see in the video, give me a thumbs up, I'll be grateful for that. Right, so first thing I will be talking about is the display on this. So you have a Super AMOLED display, 1080p with 90 hertz. Yeah, very good, very good display at the price of, <laughs> of this phone. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's much they could have added. 120 hertz, the jump from 90 to 120 is not really that big. Yeah, and the 90 hertz is actually a very it's a sweet point like a yeah it's a good balance between battery life and yeah and smoothness you know 120 hertz would drain the battery a little bit too fast but 90 hertz is a yeah the sweet spot i'll see so yeah that's the first reason i would, I would say that you should buy this phone the display on it is a uh, pretty damn good yeah and then the other thing is the battery life so the battery life on this is really good actually even it has a 5000 mAh, whatever, 5000 mAh battery and a 6.5 inch display, which is not really all that big. <laughs> you know, I, I use the Note 10 Plus as my main phone, so using this, I feel like I'm using a compact phone, to be frankly honest. <laughs> when you come back to this, it feels like a very tiny phone, to be frankly honest with the case, yeah. So, yeah, and uh, I think that's another advantage in this case the fact that it's not that big. There aren't so many phones that are. <laughs> And this compact anymore like, okay 6.5 inches in, isn't really small but yeah it's compact enough i'll see that yeah that's another reason to consider buying this phone even in late 20 21 right uh the other reason i would say is the price drop on it you know sometimes phones don't hold their value that <laughs> that well that should be a bad thing but also a good thing for those who are buying it late you know so you'll be able to get a very good deal on it i, I suspect check it out online and all that different stores or even locally you can check out and uh, find very good deals for it given it has been around so many people are switching away from them obviously so yeah you'll be able to get it for a good deal i imagine then the other thing that i would say is that if you're a person who wants to get the software experience of when you are here very good very good optimized software well i don't think there's a better software skin better than one UI. well for those who like uh, maybe the google experience the stock android but for me, Samsung One UI is just as good as they come, in my experience anyway. So yeah, I'll say the software and this is really good. And the fact that uh, you'll be expecting to get a uh, Android Trove is also an advantage. So you, you can you can still rely on this for at least another year or two. So you'll be getting Android Trove and probably even Android 13. <laughs> if, you're, if you're lucky and Samsung supports that anyway. But they promised three years of software updates. So I imagine that this should be supported. The other advantage is the fact that you have uh, dual SIMs as well as... Uh, and SD card slot. So as you might have noticed, like uh, the the other the higher whatever versions of these phones, like the A42, the A52, and all those, they no longer have support for dual SIM and an SD card at the same time. So you either have two SIMs and no SD card, or an SD card and one SIM. So that's the configuration for those higher end models. Uh, and I think it's only the A32 and downwards that still have the dual sim and micro sd card all supported at the same time yeah so i think that's an advantage also for this phone yeah i think that's basically all the reasons the cameras are okay but i don't think there will be a reason for you to buy it in particular but maybe okay comparing to phones in this price range maybe but i think their phones are can do better with the cameras but yeah i'll say the, the cameras are okay on it have an ultra wide and uh, the main is 64 very okay the selfie camera is also a good one i have a phone issues with it yeah, so I basically see that uh, it's a really, really nice phone, generally. So those are some of the reasons I'll give as to why maybe you should consider buying this phone in uh, late 2021. Yeah, the performance isn't really all that good, but it's neither bad. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's just balanced out. Don't expect top-notch performance. You always have to remember the price <laughs> of the phone before you expect too much from it, right? How the MediaTek Helio G80 which isn't the best tips it really but it will do the job most of the time you play most of the games at medium graphic settings easily without any issues and so that's basically it for the video guys thank you guys for watching and uh, if you're new to the channel please hit and subscribe and uh, if you have liked it give me a thumbs up thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one peace out